Hi everyone, welcome to this session. My name is Aisha Bush. I'm a Cloud Developer Advocate at Microsoft. And today we will show you how you can build Outlook add-ins using Team Toolkit for Visual Studio Code. This is a new feature uh, added in the uh, Visual Studio Code V5 uh, version 5. It's in the preview at the moment and you can test it out. It's available publicly. Um, and I will jump right in the demo. OK, so I think today we're going to learn everything on the way. Uh, if you haven't heard of Outlook Add-ins before, I actually have a great documentation for you to go through uh, at the end of the session so you can discover more what you can build in uh, as add-in. But we will use Teams Toolkit today to build an add-in for Outlook. Before I jump into Teams Toolkit, actually, on Visual Studio Code, you should make sure that you install the preview version of Teams Toolkit. You can easily do that by just going to Teams Toolkit extension, and here you will actually have installed pre-release version. Now I already have pre-release version. It's asking me to switch back to the release. Um, when, once you install the pre-release version, then you will have a chance to test out what is coming new into V uh, version 5. And today we will discover more what we can do with uh, V5. So. Let's create a new app and see what is different. So first off, we have Teams capability part and we also have Outlook add-in part, uh, meaning that we can either create a Teams capability like a bot, tab, message extension, or we can create an Outlook add-in. Today, we will create an Outlook add-in. Now we have two different options. The first one is Outlook task pen add-in. Uh, it's preview on Windows. You have to run this on your Windows machine. I'll go through the pre uh, prerequisites with you uh, in a minute. And if you already have an existing Outlook add-in, you can bring your add-in and run uh, on uh, Visual Studio Code and debug it through Teams Toolkit. Today, we will create something brand new. So let me choose this folder and I will give it a name as Outlook add-in demo. I hope I didn't use that name before, but once I hit enter, then Team Socket will be scaffolding my project right away. Okay, so there we go. We already uh, created Outlook add-in, and it is pretty straightforward when you created something with Team Socket. It will give you the zero configuration experience um, I know my colleague Gary was talking about it for a long time in the community call. So if you're interested in learning more about Team Socket, you can go to the YouTube channel of community and check out the previous uh, sessions. Um, before I go through the uh, project route and also read me file, I want to initiate the debugging so that uh, we will have the uh, demo uh, right at the time when we finish the README file as well as uh, the project root. Okay, we start installing npm. Let's go. Okay, in the README file, we have some prerequisites, and these are the important ones uh, because this feature is super new. To test this out, you need certain prerequisites to be in place in your machine. First of all, you need Node.js version 16 or higher, and uh, Team Toolkit supports 16 or 18 at the moment. If you want to test this out on your desktop, then you need to have Outlook for Windows on your Windows machine, and you need to use your beta channel. If you, know, if you don't know how to get the beta channel, I think the best way is to join the Microsoft 365 Insider program, where you will get access to different channels and you can test out uh, different versions of Outlook by switching between the channels. And you'll need uh, Edge installed for the debugging purposes. You will need Microsoft 365 account again for the uh, testing purposes. And finally, you will need Team Toolkit for Visual Studio Code pre-release version. Make sure that you switch to pre-release so that you can uh, build new Outlook add-in app. And the experience is pretty straightforward. Now what we're going to do is just F5, and that's what we did. Let's let me walk you through the project um, folder as well. So in Outlook Add-in, uh, since this is running in Teams Toolkit, since we built this project using Teams Toolkit, we have some 
uh, family or folders coming uh, with Teams Toolkit, such as App Package. Um, if you are new to version 5, App Package is the package where we keep all of the assets and manifest folder. And this is our manifest for our Outlook add-in. Um, it looks pretty similar to Teams manifest, Teams app manifest, but there are some uh, di different areas such as um, I think the most interesting part for me was ribbons, where we define what kind of uh, Outlook add-ins we will build. This is a Contoso add-in. It's the label of the group. And under the group, we have a button for show pen, a show text task pen, which will open up a task pen. And uh, we also have action button to per perform an action. That means that this add-in covers two buttons with two different actions. First one is the task pan, and the second one is the uh, performing action as a task for the mail. Um, let me continue. Everything about your project, any project you build with uh, Teams Toolkit version 5, um, any setup environment setup will go under .env.dev uh, folder. Here you will have um, all of the setup items and some of these, um, as you may know, some of these are already coming dynamically because we're using Teams app YAML file to generate all the Azure subscriptions. Um, Basically, Team Toolkit is creating all the AAD IDs for us. If you're building bot, then it is registering your bot to um, Azure as well. So uh, most of the steps are automated with Azure Bicep. Let me close the environment and infra files. Finally, if you are looking for where are my project folders, it's under the source folder. Uh, as I mentioned, we have two actions in this um, Outlook add-in. The first one is comments and the second one is task pan. Let's start with comments. Comments actually run simple actions with your email. And if I go to comments.tx, you will realize that we are performing an action here on the office. When I click basically the button for performing action, I will come back to Webpack in a second. Uh, it shows the message perform action and uh, we are showing a notification at the moment, but if you want to create any additional event, you can do that in this action function. And this is the HTML. We're pretty much running the Office JavaScript API here to show uh, our notification. In the task pan, uh, we are mainly, when I click the button, run button we are showing the subject uh, of the email and you can change all of the actions here if you want to do something else uh, with the outlook you can basically add in this uh, run inside the run function and this is the html of the run function uh, it comes as a pretty great ui because it's using fluent ui and here we have a simple uh, run button and we are running the, uh, we are calling the function to get the subject of the email. That's pretty much the experience uh, when you build an Outlook add-in using Teams Toolkit. I want to show you the Webpack. Webpack needs to be running in the background and this is actually running the project. And then once Webpack is ready, then your project will be ready to test out and seems like it has successfully run. Let me go to my Outlook. OK, so I have a demo folder for you and I put this uh, sample email here just for you to take a look. So this is my email and these are the, <laughs> unfortunately, I tested this before, so you're seeing duplicates here. I'm sorry for that. But these are our actions in the Outlook add-in and we can perform some actions for this email by just clicking these two buttons. First of all, Contosa add-in is the add-in we created. And as I mentioned, we have two different actions we can take uh, with these two different buttons. The first one is show pen, test pen, and the second one is perform an action. Let's try the first one. So when I click the first one, it opens up the task pan on the right. And when I click on run, it is supposed to bring me the subject, which is exactly the same 
with the subject of this email. Obviously, if you select any other um, email, this the subject is supposed to change automatically because um, we are running this for an, uh, another email. OK, so if you want to perform any action, uh, then this perform action button is basically doing that. And at, at this point, we didn't edit anything in the Outlook project, so this will be bringing us a notification. Let me click on here. And let's maybe try it like this. OK, so maybe I perform too much. OK, yeah, that's why. So when I click perform action right now, it is showing me performed action. If you want to take any other actions, just not only showing the notification, but taking some other actions and informing the user, then this uh, action uh, item in the add-in would be the best place for you. Otherwise, task pen is the other option. And that's pretty much what you can do, do with uh, Outlook add-in. And if you want to add more actions for your Outlook add-in, you can basically come to the source folder and add more here. Um, and uh, you, it, it's using pretty straightforward uh, TypeScript file and HTML for comments as well as for uh, task pan. So you can customize however you like. So. Let me close this out and go back to my slides. Last but not least, I want to highlight if you're new to this Outlook adding concept or if you're new to Teams Toolkit, we have a great documentation for you. Uh, you can visit academy slash Outlook adding TTK docs, and this will help you get started building your first project. We also have a blog post. My colleague Rabia, uh, she, she is the original owner of this demo, actually. Uh, she authored the blog post for you uh, to create Hello World uh, Outlook add in, uh, so you can get started um, creating a new project. I also have the tab open for you because I want to walk you through. So uh, this is the official place uh, to get started in our documentation, create Office add-in projects with Teams Toolkit. And this is where you can learn more how you can get started doing that. Uh, if you're interested in uh, doing something more, you can discover what is available here. And this is the blog post my colleague Rabi authored, and it is showing all the details step by step just like how I did in this demo to run the app and what's going to be the output of the debug and uh, the explanation of the source code and some resources. So this is what I wanted to cover today. Uh, and if you have any questions, I don't know if I, I have any time uh, to answer, but I can also stay here and answer in the chat. Such a fantastic demo. This actually goes to the point we we're talking about before, where resources from you know the uh, the cloud advocates, the dev advocates, they put a ton of content together to make it really super easy for people to follow along. So thank you for running through it, um, Aicha, and also to show where the resources are. Mm -hmm.